I was th- I was gonna ask you guys whether or not you felt that AEW is missing Cody Rhodes. Like right now in 2023, what do you where for because Cody said I'll never challenge for the championship, which he booked himself into a hole so there. Dumb. That didn't make any sense, right? We talked about it at the time. Mm-hmm. What do you think Cody Rhodes and AEW would be like? I know what he's lighting WWE because he's lighting it on fire. I'm wondering how he'd fit in the circle of AEW today. I think he fits better in in WWE, to be honest. Yeah. I don't think I don't think AEW like it hurt at the time because he's a founding member of the company. Mm-hmm. He's a founding member of the company. And it's the same thing. Like if, if the young bucks leave, like, I feel it's the same thing. I feel like the, the tag team division's in a pretty good spot. Honestly, the one that would probably hurt the most is Kenny. Yeah. Um, but, but th- the thing that hurt most, it wasn't losing Cody Rhodes, the performer. It was losing. Cause again, after he had booked himself in that corner, he had strange feuds and cut that strange promo against Anthony, a go-go like it was very weird. He ended racism. <laughs> Give him credit for that. <laughs> no, no. Rocky four ended racism. Oh, all right. Let's get something straight here. Um, and it ended the cold war. Um, but also, <laughs> but also like it, it, you, you only missed it because it was a hit to your ego of, Hey, right. this is a guy who started our company and decided to go back over there, but he fits better into the sports entertainment WWE model with everything that he's doing in WWE right now. Yeah. I think the only way he would work currently in AEW is as a heel. Like somehow they find a way to like turn him and he leans into like the EVP role. He's like, Hey, I'm going to override that rule. And then heel Cody as AEW world champion, I think would have worked. But this do good, you know, drink your milk, say your prayers, all that sort of stuff, that's not going to work in AEW because it's a different audience. It skews older. It's more the wrestling type. And, yeah, I agree. Like, it's the name that was a blow. But in terms of actual content, like, I think AEW is fine. Yeah, I, I was wondering about that because I remember toward the end – there were some boos there for Cody, yeah. and it was kind of a Cena reaction. Mm-hmm. Even though, I mean, I remember you as the show we were covering, like Cody doing everything to be able to get over with the crowd, yes. putting himself through a burning table, and flying off a cage at the State Farm Center in Atlanta against um, Wardlow, I think it was at the time. Like he was doing everything to try to get over, and the crowd was. I mean, it was mixed, and that's actually what you want—a mixed reaction. But I just think him never being able to vibe with the championship was the end. And I know he's very happy in WWE now. He came on this show and promoted the documentary, which I can't wait to see. So I it just I was just wondering, like, what that'd be like because he wouldn't challenge for MJF. Right. It wouldn't matter if he's challenging for you know like the TNT title at all. He'd just be like a middling star, I think. In mm-hmm. AEW, he'd be losing Orange Cassidy. Wow. Wow, wouldn't that be something? 